told y'all that shit. That dumbass wonder why your titties itching at lunchtime. Cause you done put two pounds of powder on. It's 98 degrees. Soon as you come in, four o'clock. Uh -uh, Cause today somebody got on my nerve. Suck this. Ew, bitch, that's a wing work. It's them bumps right there. <laughs> Fellas, stop just cutting the light off. Cut it back on. <laughs> that's... So I just kept getting high. You know? <laughs> oh, man. Like I said, if you went to the churches and all that, don't go to a church that got a damn ATM machine in the basement right away. And like I said, he talking about something. You got a job? I said, yeah. The pastor. I said, yeah. He talking about you need to give me 10%. I said, oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to give it to him when I see him. I don't trust y'all. Hey, I'm going to give it to him when I see him. Hey, Jesus, you know where PNC at? Right there on Broad Street? Hey, with a pen number, baby. I know I'm dead, but here you go. I didn't trust every damn body. <laughs> How about that one pastor, Pastor Long? Now, let's see. I don't understand that. Because white people, they get touched, all that shit. Black people talk a lot. So what I don't understand is how you getting fucked? You like 13. You should have told somebody, your counselor, teddy bear, PlayStation 3, your uncle, grandpa. There's a lot of people in the house. You ain't tell nobody. And if it was me, I'd have been like, you, I can see me, pastor, like, yeah, I'm going to pray for you, Mike. Come on with that bullshit, pastor Long. I don't supposed to be in your offices. Yo, grown ass, he used to fuck me back in like 88, 89, 90. Whoop his ass. Fuck you telling for? You know what happened. He know what happened. Wait for his ass. How you doing, Pat? Remember me? Remember? You don't, re you don't remember? Yeah, Mike. Yeah, Mike. I'm going to fuck you up. You fucked me, didn't you? <laughs> Jesus ain't do that to me. <laughs> Cut the bullshit. Everybody here having a good time? Yeah! Clap if you cheat. Some of y'all in here with the cheater didn't know what the fuck to do. Sometimes Tuesday, it's the day Thursday. Uh, uh, I don't cheat. This is my real husband. <laughs> this is my real one. <laughs> Being married is like having the best sex of your life and opening your eyes and it's your sister. That's what it's like. <laughs> For real. But I don't mind you cheating on me. Just cheat on me with somebody who dick littler than mine. That's all. Because every man in here know when your seat been adjusted when you get in your car, right? That's all. I don't want to get in there. Mm -mm, wait a minute. Somebody. Because I never sit this way. I don't need to get your stuff right now. She said, what the hell? Tell jokes and shit. Ladies, real rap. These fucking nut ass dudes thinking they tearing shit up. They motherfuckers having 10, 11 pound babies. They got a whole aisle in right in just to trick your ass. Right? This for, you know, women. Sometimes your shit supposed to come on Tuesday, but then Wednesday come and it ain't come on, so you call the nigga you know with the biggest dick. You ain't called me. And then they make it come on, right? And he, you like, damn, Chris, you made my period come on. His dumb ass, that's what I do, bro. I be in there. Nigga, it was supposed to come on two days ago. She was just making sure, right? So I thought I figured my girl shit out. I was like, yeah, all right. 17, 18, 19, 20, if don't call me. She fucked me up, called me the 20th. I'm like, what's up? You know what I want. She like, come on. I'm like, is it on? She talking about, it's on, but it ain't on, on. What the fuck is that? Wasn't nothing there earlier. I'm like, bitch, is it going, what the fuck is that? Is it going to rain or it's not going to rain? I, just, I don't know. She said, well, let me check. <laughs> everybody have fun, I'm high. Before I get out of here, everybody have a good time. That's all I want to do. This shit is real shit that happened. And people's lives. Like.
Okay, sometimes I get high. I'm not gonna lie. I get high and I go up the street to Ioni Square One right there. They got the little workout place where the girls can work out. Lucille Roberts, they don't let men in. I get high and I say, that's a big bitch and run out. I didn't do shit like that. I threw a Klondike bar in there. Intervention, bitches. Somebody, I don't know what to do. I'm so so delicious. <laughs> Get your <up>, fatty. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Real talk. And I'm not trying to laugh. My daddy passed away this summer. Don't laugh. I was too Paul Barry short. It was all on Facebook. Motherfucker was slanted. And speaking of Facebook, what the fuck is, it's complicated. It's only complicated for the dummy who don't get the memo. His shit says single, bitch. This shit got, it's com what's complicated with, get the fuck out. Ain't no complicated, ain't no complicated. I mean, I'm with him, but I'm not, but I'm is. His shit says single, don't do anything. He fuck men, boys, girls. This shit's sad. Complicated. <laughs> Facebook ain't for everybody. And we all know that. Right? And the one girl, she threw me off a long time ago. Before I could get that right here. Before I got married. Ooh! That was a long time ago. Y'all wasn't even there. I'm married. The sheep and the keeper. I tell you who I'm allergic to. Child support. <laughs> That shit will break your checkbook all out. <coughs> but like I was saying, before I get out of there, my daddy, he was passing away this uh, summer. And he had told everybody he was dying of AIDS when he was really dying of cancer. And I said, Daddy, why are you telling people you're dying of AIDS? He was like, so when I die, they won't fuck your mother. <laughs> Yo, funny Mike, y'all. Uh, Check me out. I got a lot of shit going on. Buddy Mike, y'all. Come on.